Welcome. In this video, we're going to find the arc under one cycloid, excuse me, we're going to find the area under one arc of this cycloid that's defined uh, by these equations. And I've already given you where to limit your angle theta from 0 to 2 pi. But before we do any calculus, let's look at a picture. And hopefully, looking at this on GeoGebra will help you see how you can do your own picture to visualize curves. Let's define a slider here and call it r, and you'll see why we need this in a second. So say r equals 1. Let's go from 1 to, say, 6. Perfect. So what are we going to do with that slider? We're going to type the word curve here, and I'm going to write r times, and the x function of this parametric curve is defined by t minus sine t, and the y portion is defined by r times 1 minus cosine t, and our parameter is t, and let's just go from negative 10 to 10, so that's, actually let's go further to 100. Perfect. I just want this to go on and on. And now you ask, why did I do the r? Well, now I can watch this grow or shrink. So let me quickly shift my graphics view a bit. Wonderful. So I can get this large or get this small, and that's just changing that r value. Should Okay, so here's what our sketch looks like, and now you should be comfortable using GeoGebra to graph these style of parametric equations. And we're looking for this area under one arc. Okay, so let's do some calculus. So the formula for area is the integral from a to b of y of t, x prime of t, dt, where a and b are the lower and upper bounds, respectively, on t. So we want the area is from 0 to 2 pi. y of t is just r, 1 minus cosine theta. And x prime of t is equal to r times 1 minus cosine of theta. So that's this derivative here. So let's multiply by r times 1 minus cosine theta d theta. All right, now that we have our integral set up, I'm going to hide the work above. We can combine this all into one fraction just to make it easier to integrate. So this is r squared over 2 times 6 pi minus 4 sine of 2 pi plus sine of 4 pi over 2 minus 3 times 0. That's just going to be 0 minus 4 sine 0 plus sine of 2 times 0 over 2. So lots of things are going to go away. That is 0. What is sine of 2 pi is 0. What is this? also 0. Um, I wrote theta is 0, or excuse me, 0 as theta, so that's a 0. Sine of 0 is just 0, and that's 0. So we just end up with r squared times 6 pi over 2 equals 3 pi over 2, excuse me, 3 pi r squared.